Well, hello Virgo. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmeen. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. This is going to be a general reading. And yes, you will have a love reading that I will be posting the day that I upload this video. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Let's see. Let's see what cards come out here for you. This is for Virgo. Really in no special order. So we have the Phoenix. We have youth. Okay. And let's get the last one. We have yes coming out. These are really good cards. Okay. And at the bottom is 50-50. And it says, at this time, things could go either way. Hmm. Let me make sure you guys can see. I have a habit of like not paying attention to the cards because I see it one way, you guys see it another. And that's my perfection. Perfectionism popping out. <clears throat> Virgo, here with Phoenix. I would like to believe that with this car, you guys are basically at the end of this process. Here with Phoenix, it talks about a renewal, meaning this, there's a beginning. So you've already had like, you've already had the, the, you know, the destruction because even on here, it talks about rising from the ashes. And that means that you've been through a lot, okay? And even with the Phoenix, the, the whole, um, story behind that is that like the phoenix went down to hell so you could have been feeling hellish like circumstances in your life and so with this card it says that this is a new era that you are going to be experiencing this is a rebirth that you're going to have and you have changed there's something about you there's something about the people that you're going to be around I feel like there's just a huge change that you're going to be experiencing. And I feel like it's on different levels. It's not just one thing. Um, and it is very welcome, according to this card. So for a lot of you, you've been through a lot, okay? Even with the Scorpio energy at the top, Scorpio brings you down, brings you down to the, the deep things, to the depth. I mean, you could have been brought down to your knees um, because of what you've experienced, right? So nines are at this point of completion. Some of you guys are not quite there yet, but you're about to end something and there is going to be a renewal um, coming up for you here. It says the end is just the beginning. So like I said, you got a yes or no. Not really sure what this is. This could have something to do with work. This could have something to do with the relationship. Um, you're a little uncertain about something, Virgo. Now the next card here is youth, okay? It talks about breaking free. Um, you're on the verge of something and being, being mutable. Mutable is like flexibility, not being um, stuck in one type of mindset, not being stuck in, you know, possibly, um, and, well, I would say if it's a job, that would mean that you guys may just, you know, be rebellious or be, you know, adventurous and go and do something new. But there's something happening with you, especially with that break free card. What's the opposite of free? Restriction and prison. <laughs> okay. A youthful attitude. You know, usually children does not, children don't have the baggage that adults carry. So you're going to be at this place where you feel alive, where you feel happy, where, you know, you may actually meet someone where you're, you and them actually have that same type of energy, uh, where you could just be free and childlike, not in that weird way. Childlike is just like, you just be free together. You don't have a care in the world. Okay. That type of stuff. Um, but I really do feel that for some of you, like I said before, um, that you guys are coming out of something, especially with that transformation card. I can see it from a mile away. All right. Um, and it's another energy on here too. It's, you could be insecure about something because children are not as, is not, they're not as sure as adults may be with certain decisions that they may have to make. 
children make decisions too. This could be the reason why some of you guys are not really sure about a decision that you need to make because of children. Now, some of you may have twins, okay? Or just kids in general. All right, so the next card is a yes. The answer is yes. The situation or event is right on track at this time. Now, one thing that I will say, what you're saying yes to, you know what that means. But I feel like this is the expression. You're like, yes, something good is happening. Something amazing is happening here in your life. A new beginning with that number one. So it could be yes to a new job. Yes to traveling. Yes to a relationship. Some of you guys are going to get proposed to. And, you know, you may be the one that's saying yes. Or someone will say yes to you. But I do see a happy situation here with this yes card. Um, now, this is just the overall general energy in this read. You guys already know it's very difficult for me to read Oracle cards because I'm not the type of person to read off the cards because I also have to get my own, um, my, use my own intuition looking at this. And I do see that there's been destruction, period. Like I'm just using my own intuition here. There's been destruction. There's been a lot of chaos in your life and now you're at this place where you have to make a decision about something. I may have mentioned that before in other readings. You got uh, the card, one of the cards on here talks about, I mean, one of the definitions on here says trying things out. And I really do feel like you're not restricting yourself from things that maybe before you may have restricted yourself from. I see that there's this sense of freedom that you're experiencing, okay? There's, there has been trouble that you're getting out of, and I do see that there's an opportunity for you to overcome a problem that you've been facing for a very long time, okay? Now, that is just me. That's just me using my intuition based on those cards. Now, I'm going to go ahead and use the tarot, see what comes out here for you, Virgo. <clears throat> One thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to shuffle the normal way. What I'm going to do is just pull from the top and whatever's in reverse is in reverse. Whatever's upright is upright. I want to do that because I'm just curious to see how this works. Let's get it. This is for Virgo. Okay. All right, so you guys can see whatever is an upright is upright here with the two of swords in reverse. You have the eight of wands in the reverse. Please excuse me for my nails. I'll get them done soon. <laughs> and I have the ten of cups in reverse. You guys had everything in reverse. Can you see that? Okay. Everything is in reverse. So you tell me once I start reading this, if this uh, relates to you in some kind of way. First card here talks about you needing to make a decision. Boom, there it is, right? We just talked about it. <laughs> we saw with the 50-50, something huge. So I don't know what this is. This could have something to do with money, job, your family, um, your relationships or something like that. So the Two of Swords in reverse is considering options, understanding the warning signs. Um, with this, I mean, I don't know what else to say. Uh, you can go one way or the other. Like this card says, it can go either way. To you, that's how you feel, okay? You're not quite sure yet. Um, the next card here is the Eight of Wands in the reverse, meaning slow down. Okay, there could be a lack of focus. There it is again. Okay, we've seen that in your reading twice. Some of you guys are not focusing on the things that you should be focusing on. I do feel like there's delays happening in your life. Some of you are feeling those delays with money, with love. Like you just feel like things at one point were moving. Now all of a sudden it's not moving so much. Okay, Um you, you know, maybe you feel a little blocked, a little restricted. We just talked about before um, how there could be some things that are in your way. I think that came out on which card? Oh, the breaking free. I like this because this is letting me know that whatever you guys have been feeling blocked in, that you will get, you will be escaping 
or there will be some type of release where things can start moving for you, okay? Including um, just your energy, feeling excited about stuff. I see traveling here. I think I, I may have mentioned that before. Your energy level, um, you know, I just feel like things are going to start taking off for you. So that's the breaking free. I feel like that's the reason why you feel like this childlike energy. You feel excited because children always feel so excited about stuff. Um, so I do see that. Now, the next card here is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. There's a disconnect between you and someone. Now, it doesn't always have to be a lover, right? There could be a disconnect with family members. I'm talking about full-blown family members, mothers, fathers, siblings, cousins, right? Where there's a problem. There has been problems. Um, and... You know, on this card, I'm just going to read it. For some of you, it could be a broken home. It could be an imbalance between you and your person. Um, you may be in, in a connection, like it says here, a false sense of security. Maybe you just with someone because it just feels, you believe that it could just look a certain way or or appear a certain way to other people, but it's really not the reality that you are feeling because it's in the cups is a feeling so some of you really are not I, I, oh i just saw this up uh, in an authentic relationship it's not real okay so the thing is is what are you saying yes to are you saying yes to a harmonious relationship are you saying yes to being emotionally fulfilled and being stable it just depends on what you have to do to actually achieve that but here it is saying that there is some type of discord with, you know, either family or someone that you could have children with. Because, again, there's children here in this in this picture. Let's keep going. I want to do the exact same thing that I just did. I'm just going to go ahead and turn over the cards. I'll let you guys see me shuffle. This is for Virgo. All right, here we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. We have the Fool card in the upright. We have the Star card in the upright. Really good, <clears throat> really good. There's peace coming, okay? There's really peace coming. Um, back to your life, tranquility. Now the Knight of Pentacles is, is talks about, let's just say it has something to do with your money. There has been a slow, maybe a, a, a hold up or a slow down. I think we saw it earlier with the eight of wands in reverse. Maybe your money has slowed down in some way. You didn't see progression with your finances. Um, the nine of pentacles is slow and steady. Okay. Meaning you're going somewhere, you're getting somewhere with that night, but it may take a little time for you to feel comfortable. It may take you a little time for you to feel um, the stability that you want to feel with your finances. Okay. And, you know, with the star card, there's something that you have been hoping and wishing for, you know, concerning your work and career. I do see that there's something new here. It doesn't have to always deal with work, but I'm just saying, because we're talking about work now, there's something that you've been hoping for with the star card. Fool card talks about something new, okay? Maybe you are going to, you know, start up your own business. Maybe you'll have two different jobs, okay? Maybe you're going to start investing in something, um, but I'm definitely seeing opportunities coming towards you where you have the uh, the opportunity to expand financially, okay? No more restrictions. And um, part of the decision that I also see is not just with love or anything else. I think I said this earlier, it's really about your, your work and career, okay? Some of you may have an opportunity in a different state. So you, you need to really go within to figure out if that is something that's going to be appropriate for you. Now, with relationships, I love the Knight of Pentacles. There's just no doubt about it. I love the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a very serious night. The only problem is the relationship takes a while. Something about this person's energy where it's it can take a second before you you, you know, get to this Ten of Cups. So it could be work, it could be, you know, their responsibility, it could be a whole bunch of stuff that's really happening. Maybe they are stuck on a decision, needing to make a decision about certain things that's kind of stalling them out a little bit. But I definitely see that something good is going to happen because with patience comes with um, 
some reward. Like you being patient, you know, in this connection is going to bring you a lot of happiness here. It's going to bring you a new beginning. Okay. It's actually going to bring you a wish um, come true with that star card. So um, I see some really good things here for you, Virgo. I really do. But like I said, for most of you, you have a lot of decisions that you're going to have to make. A lot of changes that are coming coming towards you. You're at the brink of, you know, go, coming into this new era, going into this new era, this new life. Um, and I'm happy that you guys can enjoy it. But the only thing that I will say here based on what I see is to get back into focus, focusing on you, exercising, eating right, praying, meditating, um, being around people who you enjoy. A lot of people who... Um, especially with the Knight of Pentacles, like it says before, people in general who are loyal and um, who inspire you, okay? I can I can at least say that, okay? Because you kind of, you see the inspiration with the star card. But this is what I have here for you, Virgo. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye.